Uh, but in a short while from now, but before that, we have a lot of managements that are also lined up on the back of the earnings as well. So let's get started. And uh, the first uh, guest for today is Mr. Karvinder Singh, who is the MD and CEO at Mahindra Holidays and Resorts. Uh, hi, uh, hi, sir. Very good morning and thank you so much for your time. First of all, um, apart from the numbers, there are significant changes in the key appointments at the top management level following uh, your uh, uh, exit news as well. So share the rationale and what's in the store for Mr. Manoj Bhatt. Yeah, so uh, as it is well known by now that I have taken a decision to move on and uh, look at the new challenge in my professional journey after being at the helm of affairs for almost nine and a half years. Mahindra Holidays, uh, you know, on 2nd February on Friday delivered the highest ever quarterly numbers, third quarter numbers. Even on a nine-month basis, we are trending at the highest ever numbers, both at income, EBITDA, and PBT levels. So we are in a very good shape. We have 1,300 crores of cash, and we have crossed the 5,000 mark in terms of rooms. We did now, we are at 5,129, and we have a member base uh, of about 2.93 lakh members. So it's been a very, very good journey. Our market cap is also at about a billion-dollar market cap. When I came in, we had about $200 million market cap. So it's been a great journey, a uh, very happy journey, very happy uh, working with, uh, you know, stalwarts like Mr. Anand Mahindra, as well as Dr. Anisha. So it's been a great journey. So as I move on, uh, Manoj Bhatt, who is our group CFO, my dear colleague at the group executive board, is taking over from uh, me on Mahindra holidays on around 17th May. So this is something that the group believes in building the talent from within. And as a result of that, Manoj gets an opportunity to run a business. So this is a welcome move. It gives the right signal that group has enough uh, depth of talent. So I think uh, Mahindra Holidays is a strong in, is a very strong position. And my moving on to take on my challenge is purely my personal decision. And obviously, with the group uh, taking a decision to get Mr. Manoj Bhatt in this position is also a very, very welcome move. I do see great future for Mahindra Holidays in the times ahead. Morning to you, Mr. Singh. This is Cheryl also joining in the conversation. And we did speak to Anisha also uh, in depth regarding the changes that were happening at Mahindra Group uh, level. And he did say that they are trying to incubate a lot of talent, in-house talent, and also make a uh, make uh, Mahindra Group a powerhouse of talent. And also did uh, he was pretty bullish about Mahindra holidays and the prospects going ahead and your uh, earnings are also reflecting that. So if uh, if you have to talk more about the earnings, if you tell us what actually drove the, uh, the profit in the quarter gone by and also what's your outlook going ahead for the margins in particular? Yeah. So let me start with the margins. I think margins, uh, EBITDA margins at 30.5% turned out to be great. Uh, this is a very, very strong quarter. October, November, December is generally a seasonally good quarter at a standalone level. But having said that, we, we definitely exceeded our own expectations. EBITDA margins are up by about 120 basis points. And this excludes all the one-offs. So if you were to look at on an operational level, there are two things that are driving our margins. Number one, our cost of acquisitions are steadily coming down. If you look at pass through the numbers. And most importantly, our referral and digital are now trending at about 57% of our sales is coming through referral and digital which means lots of our members are referring and making members come through the referral channel, which is a very cost-effective channel. Digital is another channel which we have scaled up. And also, if you look at the upgrades, they were, again, the highest ever, 16% YOY basis. That's another very good story that comes at a very low cost of acquisition, and that's happening. This is what is leading is that this is leading to a very high growth in the member additions. Equally, the costs are coming down. If I were to look at the resort operating costs, the resort operating costs are also looking very good because we have invested heavily in solar. We are at about 21% of our energy is coming through renewables. We will be, by the end of March, we will be 40% of our energy will come through renewables. So we have a very strong renewable energy usage plan, which is obviously a good move in the area of sustainability, but also very uh, cost efficient and cost effective. So if you were to look at and by the way, we have also focused a lot on the productivity 
particularly in resorts as well as in sales. So all these benefits are accruing on the cost side and top line is growing because of the actions that we have taken to grow the member additions through the referral and digital route and various other actions. So obviously the benefits are seen in the margin. And also I would say that we are very well positioned because we have a very good situation on the cash fronts. We closed 1,301 crores cash, which is the, again the highest ever. We also have a deferred revenue which moved up by about 67 crores because in quarter three, we had very good numbers. So you can see the deferred revenue has also moved up, which is a big thing for the future because that's the income that will keep accruing into the membership income as we move forward. Right. But Mr. Singh, uh, tourism as a theme is growing big in India. We are seeing the government's push towards it as well as a lot of announcements made on that front. And even the private uh, private market is also participating in the same. What are the plans for Mahindra holidays to pick up this theme even larger and make it even larger? What are the uh, plans to expand more into new resorts as well as what will be the uh, cash utilization for the same and which method of expansion will you go forward with? Uh, very relevant question uh, and a very, very thoughtful question. I would like to just uh, give a very comprehensive reply to this. As you can see, uh, we have about 850 odd crores of CapEx at play. Uh, 700 keys already in the last calendar year. We started work on two greenfield resorts, one in Ganpati Phule, another in Theog and Imachal, 250 crores each roughly. And we, of course, completed the expansion of the Asanora Resort about 44 rooms at an investment of about 80 odd crores. And we also have plans to invest in the expansion of our existing resorts in Puducherry as well as in Jaipur. We also completed uh, an acquisition of a new resort in Jaipur last year. So a very happy situation in terms of stepping up CapEx. I think the, the kind of pipeline that we have, uh, the way we are moving ahead, including acquisitions, we should be looking at a CapEx in play of about 2000 crores as we move into the next financial year. But the good news is that since you alluded to the bigger picture of the tourism, and I must say that uh, the fact that Prime Minister's office and Mr. Modi have been constantly, uh, you know, uh, uh, focusing on driving the agenda of tourism, and that's really helping us because the public-private participation. Participation PPP mode. If you were to look at it. We uh, made one resort operational in the year gone by, which is Janjali in Mandi district. We have now a tie-up with Uttarakhand government. We signed an MOU of about 1,000 crores in September in the calendar year that went by. For And we have already identified four new sites where we'll be putting in about 1,000 crores of investment soon. If you were to look at this quarter, we got the good news that, um, you know, even Tamil Nadu government is welcome, welcoming us and we have planned 800 crores investment. We have signed an MOU with the Tamil Nadu government. And in Odisha, we have been awarded a new piece of land in Solpur. Earlier, we were awarded a land in Chilka also. So in Odisha also, we're going to put in about 400 to 500 crores. And in Andhra Pradesh also, we have plans to put in about 500 crores. Two sites have been identified. So public-private participation, the focus on tourism at the national level is the way forward for Mahindra holidays and for our nation. And we truly are in sync with the rising aspirations of Indian families to vacation with the brand like Club Mahindra. Just saying, lastly, let me ask you about what's the average occupancy growth that you're working around with? Uh, what's the outlook coming in on pricing? Also, let me add to that point, will you actually go ahead and take advantage of the strong demand and uh, have the package pricing increased by any chance? Because I'm sure that's on the mind of every consumer, given the fact that uh, tourism is on the rise, isn't it? So the average occupancies have been very robust, 84% in quarter three. And by the way, if you were to look at this quarter, January, we closed with about 87%. And if everything goes all right, and with the forward bookings that I can see, we are looking to close this quarter between 87 to 88%. So book occupancies are good. Member additions are robust. Price increases are very tactical decisions in our business because we truly look at, you know, what kind of value we are providing to our customers. Uh, and our members really sign us up for truly not for price, but the value that we deliver. So I think this price value equation is constantly under review and at appropriate time, we constantly do a bit of adjustment here because we do provide a lot of value. And as a result of it, sometimes the price increases happen. And if we feel that there is no major, you know, a change in the a value proposition and we are okay to hold down the prices as well. So I guess that's a very tactical move that we will take and we constantly review it. And that's that you also in a way alluded in your question as well. 
And uh, thank you so much, Mr. Singh, for joining us on the show to talk about the way forward going ahead for Mahindra holidays, as well as all the best uh, to you uh, for all of your future endeavors. It was great interacting with you on this uh, on this uh, sort of uh, on podium. But thank you so much, Mr. Singh, for joining us on ET Now today. And that was Mr. Kavinder Singh, who is the MD and CEO at Mahindra Holidays and Resorts, talking about the earnings and the way forward going ahead for Mahindra Holidays. As you can see, the stock right now trading higher by about 4.5% or so. On that note, we'd like to slip into a break on this edition of Buy Now, Sell Now. When we come